your midday Arklamas news update. Good afternoon, everybody. Thanks for tuning in to NBC News Daily. I'm Hannah Clark with your midday Arklamas update. And some good news, there are plans to build an outdoor getaway within the city of West Monroe. Fox 14's Joel Massey has more on what's being planned. This is Lake Latigo, a small lake in West Monroe off of Pavilion Road, and plans were approved for developers to build cabins around the lake. Hawkline Enterprises presented their plans before the West Monroe Planning Commission for two phases of development that would result in 60 cabins around the lake, complete with walking trails and boat docks. They will call the resort Lake Latigo and hope to serve folks coming into the city for baseball and softball games, as well as folks visiting the Ike Hamilton Expo Center and the West Monroe Sports Complex. Right now, it's a popular fishing spot, and the plan is to keep the lake open to the public and staff it 24 hours a day. They want to rent boats in the shape of ducks and swans for folks to paddle around with foot power as well as small pontoon boats for fishing. But since the lake is so small with no plans to stock the lake, it would be catch and release. At the Planning Commission, a local sign company that does pipe grinding adjacent to the property expressed concerns about possibly needing to create a buffer zone since their work is very loud. But the commission reassured them that all existing businesses would be grandfathered in with the developers taking the responsibility to deal with any possible noise pollution. The owners of Hawkline said that most of the people that would use the short-term rentals would be busy during the day when most loud work would be going on and that renters would come in the evening, so they didn't feel that the noise would be a problem. The proposal now goes before West Monroe City Council September 3rd. For Local News That Matters, I'm Joel Massey. And in a news update, a 10-month-old girl died in Jennings last week after being left in a hot car for nearly two hours by her mother. Kai Price tells us more. I don't love Hannah but you know I still have love for her because you know she's the the mother of my two other kids with her um you know when I heard the of the news I was shocked Cormier was arrested yesterday evening according to police authorities say Cormier was called into work at a local restaurant and left the baby in the car while she was inside the baby died last Wednesday Cormier's ex-husband Nick Ashworth claims this was not her first time in 2016 he filed a report accusing her of shoving his four-month-old girl's head into a pillow to stop her from crying it was back in 2016 um, there was a prior incident where she had done with my daughter. So, you know, it was just a matter of time and, you know, no one ever believed me. And then the police reports were never to be found when I went to court. And then, you know, now all of a sudden that they found them and then this is pretty much helping the case. According to the National Safety Council, 23 hot car deaths involving children have been reported in 2024 so far. Ashworth advises everyone to take a look into the back seat before attending to other things. And now, exclusive Storm Tracker Doppler weather with meteorologist Chase Ward. The dew points have been kind of slow to fall a little bit because winds have been slowly out of the northeast, but they haven't really been just a good northerly breeze, allowing that dryer to continue to sink in. These temperatures are still going to be reaching into the lower 90s. We might just see some spots around 89, 90 into parts of South Arkansas, but it's going to start to feel a bit more comfortable tonight and going through tomorrow as winds stay northerly and by tomorrow afternoon and going through Thursday, we'll see more dry air mainly in place. We'll see clear conditions and lots of sunshine. It's going to be a bit more pleasant and temperatures staying seasonal for this time of year. So definitely enjoy the next couple of days because we're going to start to see a climb in these temperatures and dew points by this weekend. Now for this afternoon, again, these two points, again, still right there around 59, 60. So still in that little sticky range. However, I would probably say we're going to be much more pleasant by tomorrow afternoon and especially by the time we get towards Thursday of this week. But I think a low about 66 degrees for tonight, mostly clear and just a tad more pleasant because like I said, these two points will begin to fall off a little bit more. And then for tomorrow, temperatures mostly lower 90s, and then we will continue with the seasonal type temperatures. But really, the next few days can be overall not too bad. However, by this weekend, as I mentioned, we're going to start to see humidity return. Temperatures will be back on the climb to the upper 90s, and the excessive heat could be back by next Sunday and Monday. And looking like that will continue through the early parts of next week with lows lower 70s.